The stories that surround the two sacred headbands are as many as the men who have died in their pursuit. Hi, Mr. Jackson. Some say they bestow supernatural powers. Welcome to Flophouse Plays. This is Matthew McMuscles, and I am playing Afro Samurai, the original Afro Samurai. Not that other one. at their end like a fish snagged on a line. Never actually played this original Afro Samurai game. Nah, I'm going to be 100% truthful and transparent. Have I watched the Afro Samurai shit? I have. I think I watched half of it. You know, Afro Samurai, really good idea, but the epitome of style over substance. You know, a lot of money spent on Hollywood actors being part of it. Is, is, is it a story worth telling? I, I don't know. Is it better as a music video? Maybe. What's all those golden eye sound effects? You hear the guy breathing? Yeah, there he is. There's our Nick Fury. What other voice actors do we have for this game? Rob Perlman's in this one too. Cool. Kelly Hugh? Kelly Hugh? Yeah! Kelly Hugh! Kelly Hugh's super hot. I like Kelly Hugh. <laughs> Uh, the Rizza, they, uh, th that's that's awesome. Uh, they brought in all of the warriors for this game. I almost feel like Afro Samurai was just a lead up to get a bunch of movie and like video game and other spin off media. It wasn't so much about crafting a really amazing story, it was more about crafting money uh, based on a bunch of merchandise, but you know, here we are back in 2006. 2006, that's how old this was, the original Afro Samurai? Damn, I'm old as shit. <laughs> All right, that's Afro's dad, he got his shit bopped. What I do remember is that the development team for this game uh, went on to finish Splatterhouse, the Splatterhouse remake. After the original developer's bottle rocket got kicked off the project. I've done all I can. See, me and him, we ain't friends per se. I've just been hanging out. Yeah, if you know Afro Samurai, you know what the deal is with that. I've been sorely disappointed. Only action he's been getting is his ass kicked. You think I should be watching his back? Fuck you. I've been watching. I've seen everything. I kind of feel like in 2009 was the year of Japanese publishers and developers going, we need to make Hello. like uh, uh, tons of vo super violent yeah, games with uh, lots of swearing and shit us. to appeal to the, the Americas. The Gotta there. get that American oh, money. You. Like there's this, the there's like, God, um, Yaiba, Ninja Gaiden Z, Mad World, like, I just feel like there are tons. You know, if you just want, like, a light hit, you don't want anything too drastic, just a light hit. And then maybe a light heavy hit if you have time. Music, though. Music, though. Yeah. Yeah, this game looks fine. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it right now. This looks pretty, uh... I, I, pretty much what I would think. Controls are inverted or, or verted, maybe not even inverted, I don't know. So my first thoughts of playing Afro Samurai is it's slow as shit. You know, I'm, I'm used to playing Platinum games, I'm used to playing Capcom action games, and this this is feels like it's under molasses when you start swinging your sword. Come on Afro, let's bounce, I'm trying to bounce. I'll kick open the doors. Doesn't work that door. I can't kick that door. That's okay. You gonna get in there? No, I can't. Maybe he needs to kick a door down there. Look at this door. This is a big kickable door. That's the one. And I just go in and murder everyone? There. There. That's a guy. So, uh, how you wanna play this? Uh, maybe you should. Where's number one? Oh, shit. Check it out. <laughs> oh, shit. That's the number two. <laughs> hey, gentlemen! Let my associate and I buy you a drink. Oh shit, it's the number two, get him! Now, hey, if you don't know anything about Afro Samurai, this game does not teach you about it. Gotta enter the focus. I'm doing it. Okay, everyone's dead, whatever, I won. This way, I, sm I smelt his perfume. You went to the, the, the here? Bam, bam. 
Okay. So the thing about camera cutaways is you gotta be really precise with with where they're placed so I know exactly what you wanna show me. If it's not very convenient, you know a camera cutaway is usually has a flyby down like, you know, a hallway that you're in, whatever. And you gotta make sure that's okay. Otsuru's bear full life. Terrible shit you did in some past life, but karma is all up in your guts like a motherfucker. You notice nobody ever fucks with me? That's cause I don't antagonize people. It's not your fault. You and literally antagonized people before. That's 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 a lot of dudes. That's many many strong men. Whoa! Oh Jesus! All right. LB to activate over focus. You know, sometimes you just gotta over focus. I guess I have ADD or something. And before combos to recharge my focus. So, wait, does this game not have a HUD? If so, that's kinda cool. What about Samurai Champloo sidetrack? That's that PS2 Samurai. Should I play that? Is that is that worth a play? I have Blood Last Kiss on the PS2, but I do not have Samurai Champloo. Yeah, like, I'm sizing through all these dudes, and I have to say, like, the problem is that I'm getting not a lot of feedback from doing so. It just kind of feels like you're waving your swords around, and things are kind of deciding to die around them. <laughs> what the fuck is that? He's so... big. He's very large. You better pray he just kills you. I, I think he got something else in mind. Alright, I don't know what you're implying there. Whoa! Oh, oh, okay. Oh! Yeah, see, I mean, attacks like that. What? What, what just happened? Easy. You've been wounded. Uh. Auto. Shh. It's all right. You need to rest. Afro! Was I supposed to die Afro, there? You're really making a mess of that. Let me. Oh, God. there's Kuma. So you're really leaving us? Mm hmm. Got a lead on the number two, huh? Maybe. Alright, so flashback, I. I guess I'll take that. <laughs> Mementos, click five and yourself unlock Father's Legacy. Alright, Father's Legacy is a whole other menu. Look what we got here. Yeah, I'm Afro. Where is the number two? What? Kill him! What what? Yeah. So if you do not know if you have not watched the anime of Afro Samurai, it's like fuck you if you're trying to follow this in this game. Alright, there you go. I wish there was some type of lock on, but I mean, what can you do? Wall run vertical, jump onto wall. You know, that's fine. Wall run vertical to grab. <laughs> that's such a weird, awkward way to do a uh, tutorial. Wall run vertical. Okay, I'll wall run vertical. I wall run vertical. Oh shit. Alright, so are you gonna be fighting the number one headband played by one Ron Perlman? Uh, Reinhardt from Blade 2, of course. No, that's that's not him. Okay, slow down, sir. We'll we'll duel. Oh, okay, more, more. Man, I wish there was a ninja scroll game. Alright, no, wait, that guy stabbed himself? Man, think about this. This game came out the same year as Demon Souls, so <laughs> that's a very different type of game design. What is this? Afro, I've got something for you. Creepy, gross child out of my face. So I do really like the fact that this game really doesn't have a HUD. That's kind of neat. Wasn't expecting it. Now, would I think an Afro Samurai game would have a HUD, like a super stylistic one? Yeah, I'd actually maybe prefer that. Is that what they call you now? Accurate at least if uninspired. Yeah, fair enough. Smoke.
What are you looking for, Afro Samurai? Man, this sounds like Iron Michael Ironside. A little bit. I don't know if it actually is. I, I would like to think if it was Michael Ironside, they would have put him in the credits there. Yeah, that blood effect is still not amazing. Hey, don't compare me to the Watchdog franchise. Does he never mention me, his brother? Oh, really? Huh. But you've seen my work. So. Where did he? Where is he coming from? Let's just kick this door open. Are you back here? Cutting your promo on me? Oh, there's some guys down here, but. Bunch of machinery. I forgot to have our samurai. You routinely says, fuck it, machinery, perch, jump towards object. Okay. Cool, that's not bad. Cool animation. Didn't expect even lights platforming in this, in all honesty. What is this? Hehehehehe. <laughs> Afro! So, dude, I was listening. Holy shit, I was right. Whoa, watch out now, kids. Before you die. Whoa, that's a lot of those. Gots to kill them. They're qu quite dangerous, là. Oh, that wasn't bad, that wasn't bad, that wasn't bad. Wait, what? A level up! Your shell increases life and focus. Cool, I mean, I guess. I wish I could see what my life and focus were. But I, I guess it's showing me with little uh, visual cues, which, again, is kind of neat. There you go, Jesus. Okay. Now, kicking solves all problems, I was told. Why can't I kick switch? No? No, not kick? Okay, it just it has to be very precise kick. Fair enough. Hello? Tell me, what do you want? Are you planning to do me in like those men in the forest? Man, this is still a flashback. It's crazy. Oh, is that what you want from me, Afro? Forgiveness, redemption, a clean Oh, God, stink gas. Wait, what? Want. Juj, you kill your own dudes? I guess I just gotta walk through this. No, no, no. Oh, no, no, nothing there. Wait, no, there's a thing. There's a little baby doll. Okay, good, we're out of there. Excellent! Oh, wait, wait, wait. There's a Kuma Panda. Alright, we're getting there. We're getting close to something. Before I go up there and fight Sekiro, Shadows died twice. Let's look around here a little bit. More than zero. What's that? Oh, another collectible. Another memory of Crowfather. <laughs> I think that might be Ron Perlman. Ron, Ron Perlman juice. Which is something I don't want to have to say again. But I think that's what they're going for. Ooh. <laughs> Level up. Uh, slice across the head or between the eyes. Ah, oh, geez, just some jobbers. Okay. That's fine. Alright, I think that's it. Is that everybody? Yes, it's everybody. What are you looking for? I don't know, Number dude. You get a solid 30 minutes out of this video game. <laughs> You're chasing a lie. There are no sacred headbands. There are I'm no I'm pretty gods. sure there are. There is only man. Okay, here we go. Dark Souls begins now. Oh! Woo! Mash! Mash! I'll mash! Kobo Ichi, the perfect parry! I'm just mashing, I don't know what you want me to do. Okay. 
Was that a perfect parry? I don't think it was. <laughs> that was a perfect parry! Nice, nice, nice. Nice. Ooh! Okay, well, that didn't really work out, but whatever. It was still neat. <laughs> okay, well, I'm, I'm gonna try. It's a lot of pressure to put on a young afro, but... Ooh, it's a good thing he was doing some other big attack there. Okay. Wasn't a perfect parry. There you go. What? Ow! It's unclear what happened there. Give me the number two headband. I like that younger Afro talked way more. He's more of an interesting guy. Your sword master is the number two. Nani? That's him! Kill him! That might be Kuma. I forget. Okay, are we back back to the past of the future? I think we are. Man, the story's all over the place. Master, I must speak with you. Wait outside, Afro. Now. Oh, shit. You share your father's arrogance. And now I see you have his sword. Sure do. It's unfortunate you are so like him. Tell me, are you the number two? Yeah, it's me. You got me. Gino, gather the children. Meet us at the safe haven. Show me. Oh, just more of these dudes. Okay, I guess. I thought we we're leading up to like a big thing, but I guess we got a few more hundred areas to clear out. Afro, with me. The number two headband will be lost to you forever. Wow. Okay. Jesus. All right. So there's more. So. There's, there's more. Where are you going? Where are you nice? Oh wait, it's my master. I can't kill him yet. You can't break these boxes though, really. Oh, there's a guy right there. There's a guy behind the box. <laughs> and these cutscenes are um, not the most money was spent on them. But that blood just splattered on top of the boxes, just. Hanging off the edges, that's fine. What am I supposed to expect? It's a licensed game. Alright, good. We done? Oh, sure, it's a lot of yelling, but I'll do it. I, I'm, I, dude, dude. There. The alarm bell, wait, no. Alright, I just let in a boss into the, the camp, so. I don't know how great the alarm bell really was. The entrance is breached. But what about the alarm bell? Oh man, it fucked up. All right, we good? I feel like good, the gate is raised. I don't know what else you want of me. What else is there to do? Okay. The game just takes a, takes a second. That's a fun loading screen. Sorry, Master Story, let's do it. Where did the headband come from? Behold your creation. I didn't do any of this shit. You are on the path to godhood. Oh, well that's you know good. Your father's grave. The only place you respect enough to leave undisturbed. You think you can just take it. This voice actor sounds really the familiar. Must be earned. Okay, I'm gonna kick your ass. This must end here. Let it go. What? What? I was trying to help. But even now, still, you have a choice. Ooh. 
I don't know, dude. I'm fucking kicking your ass. This is not what your father wanted. I took the headman to protect you. Ah, this guy sounds so familiar. Generation West, help me out. Oh, that was it? <laughs> that was awkward. Big man now. You're still just a child playing make-believe in your daddy's clothes. <gasps> you beat him! Please. He let you win. I oh, doubt that. Bro. He's still trying to control you. He sacrificed himself to show you what it means to be truly alone. But you ain't alone. You got me now. Don't put it on, fool. Time to go. Any objections? Hold it! And so it begins. Alright, now we're back to the future, I guess. So I think Kelly Hugh is somewhere in this level. I'm not sure. This is called Okiku's Story. I hope that's Kelly Hugh's character. I forget. And anyone that's watched Afro Samurai knows know, knows why this is this is important. Alright, 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 right, outside. All lives, we've been told the same story. Yes. Afro Samurai. The demon that would kill us as we slept. These threats were disguised as children's tales. So, we're talking a lot about Kelly Hugh. She played the Oracle in Scorpion King, and she was also uh, Lady Deathstrike in X-Men 2, the movie. Uh, and she was in Afro Samurai. <laughs> we were not so different, you and I. Beneath it all, I sent something else. Something malign. You might wonder now. She's toxic. Why am I toxic? I couldn't blame you for that. And I recovered you unconscious from the waterfall. Your sword still held tightly in your arms. Oh yeah, a lot of a lot of noise made out of of toy bears. Oh my god, here we go again. You hear that? I don't hear anything, dude. My name is Takamori. Oh Jesus! And I am here to relieve I don't know. You seem like a jobber to me, man. It's been a while since I've seen a jobber look this jobby. But you look like Hutaru from fucking Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat. I forget which one. But you look like Hutaru, dude. Oh, that's it. That's okay. No, dude. I just killed Takamori. What do you want? Oh Jesus! You missed. Wait, who is it? It's just a farmer with a scythe! And they're crying! The role of nursemaid was one I embraced. Happy for the rare chance to preserve life rather than take it. I was a silk maker. That's what I told you at first. Lies mixed with truth are easier to spin and keep their shape. In time, you came to know my true nature Okiku, the dream thief. Okiku. Alright, but just don't be reading my dreams between 4 and 9. That's mat time. But not yet. For an assassin, anonymity is an asset. Seems like it would be and important. Mannerisms, tone of voice, appearance, all were designed to render me easily forgotten. Invisible. Alright, well, if you keep walking in little directions, like in front of my uh, vision, I'm probably going to be able to follow you. There she goes. In my work, I was destined only to meet the condemned, the lost, and the dead. Where'd she go? Oh god, this is going to cost me. She went this way. Oh, okay. You spent so long chasing justice, you forgot how to chase pussy. Jesus. Uh, so don't go this way? But... Alright, she went up here. But how am I Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Never mind. I'm not gonna go there. Is something wrong, Disciple Okiku? There's a problem. This may take longer than Oh, God. Me. These guys. And I forgot these old all. dudes. Yes, Father. Return to your home. Once the memory download is complete, release his spirit. Crack open the Shroud of Clay. 
This Sounds like John DiMaggio. Shall be his final resting place. As you wish. Release his spirit. Their endless euphemisms for killing amused me. Perhaps for them the word was distasteful and not the act. Ooh, I kind of like that bit. Follow her. Ensure she fulfills her obligations. We continued our game of deception and trust into the following day, you and I. The valley is remote and accessible only by river. Each week a boat comes, bringing supplies to the village. We are both of us prisoners. I am a ghost, dreaming of being a woman. Dreaming. Why, why does up. why does Afro freak out there? What, what's it doing? Dreams of dreams can be. That's kind of weird. On the fifth night, you found me bathing at the waterfall. Right, go on. My world was. Ooh, I like this groove though. The shape and height of this valley, but I could travel through the memories of the people sent here to die. This was my talent. This was my curse. Right, right, stealing dreams. Dreams. Weaver. Nothing more. My skills were of value to them. And in return, they took care of me. All right, there you Okay, hi. She's waiting up there. I feel your eyes burning into me. Something like hate. Something like desire. When you slept, I could be close to you. The David Cage intensifies. Dreams. On the sixth night, I confess to you. Mm hmm I'm an assassin. For oh, I thought she was gonna say I'm pregnant. Pregnant. Of course, you already knew. You should. I have had an that. inkling. How cruel you were to let the lie continue. Uh. A network of passageways spanned the region, used by agents of the MT7 to maintain order. Drone assassins. The people of the village called them demons. These burrows all led back to the hive concealed somewhere beneath this valley. A nest where the drones were built. Or bred. Call it what you will. No, no, no. I totally understand. Now rather than lay low for two days and come here with a told you, woman, you're gonna go and stir a, a shitstorm, poke a stick into a hornet's nest. Makes perfect sense. I do the same thing. Afro, the whale. What? That's pretty cool. All right, that's something. Oh, what? What? Holy shit! I think the tunnels also allowed vapors to escape. Preventing the hive from being poisoned by its own emissions. Wait, so it's Blocking creating stink by itself, the but it doesn't the want the stink to the kill location, it. Leaving them vulnerable for a while. So, basically, we got to jam up a few holes. Why didn't she just say so? I don't buy this. We got to somehow close these tunnels, and we're being presented with exploding robots? It's almost as if this has all been planned out. It's almost like it's a video oh, game. Man. You gonna get us all killed. Think about me. Think about the booty. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's Afro Samurai. I, I think I get the gist of it. Um, it's almost veering into like pretty good, but it's merely like kind of okay. Um, I kind of wish it had a bit more style. I wish the comet wasn't as floaty. I wish that was a bit sharper. Like. It's it's so close to being a thing, but it, it kind of misses the mark there. But, I mean, all the uh, voice actors are there, the music's pretty good, and there's a visceral thrill to killing some enemies, but it's a tad repetitive. Still, way better than that sequel game, the, the Kuma one. Like, leaps and bounds better than that. So, um, yeah, a lot of people have fun memories of this because everyone was hyped for Afro Samurai circa 2006. Know of any other slashy washies you'd like me to play on Flophouse Plays? Let me know in the comments and I'll see what I can do.